Hello, this is the headlining news around the East African region from Uganda. A proposal by a Ugandan member of parliament to the World Bank to develop worldwide post-conflict reconstruction strategies has been approved by the bank president with immediate effect. Clark North member of parliament, Honorable Anthony Akol, made the proposal at the 2018 Global Parliamentary Conference at the World Bank headquarters in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday. And Dr. Jin Yong Kim the bank president responded that the proposal was going to be adopted immediately. A call observed that while the World Bank intervenes in conflict areas, once peace is restored, they quickly halt all the operations without considering any plan of post-conflict restriction for displaced people. Another Uganda MP, Elijah Okupa from Kasilo County, supported his compatriot's proposal. At the same meeting, Uganda's Nandala Mafabi from Budadiri West also called on the World Bank and IMF to support better terms of trade for Africans countries. He also noted that European countries access African raw materials cheaply and sell finished products to Africa at very high prices, which he said was clear exploitation of Africans. The conference represents a unique assembly of national legislators and development institutions dedicated to addressing crucial questions in international development finance, including economic stability, achieving the sustainable development goals, and pushing international development in initiatives to new heights of awareness and potential. Parliament has revived the process of setting up a recruitment panel for commissioners at the Electoral Agency. This comes again as the backdrop of the recent resignations at the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. The National Assembly's Justice and Legal Affairs Committee, chaired by William Cheptumo Baringo North MP, has announced that it is developing a legal framework to establish a permanent selection panel. News from Tanzania. Floods related deaths in Dar es Salaam have increased to 14 from 9, which were reported on Monday. Dar es Salaam Special Zone Police Commander Lazaro Mambosasa told the Daily Nation on Tuesday that some of the bodies have been identified and asked members of the public whose relatives are missing to contact the police for identification. He named the identified deceased as 30 year old Grace and a four year son. President Paul Kagame met with Prince Henry of Wales, best known simply as Prince Henry, in London, United Kingdom, ahead of the opening of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, Chogam, in the British capital on Tuesday. Prince Harry has a keen interest in conservation and this year joined African Parks as their president. African Parks is a conservation non-governmental agency that currently manages 13 parks on the continent, including Akagami. Gera Park. Finally, from South Sudan, 207 child soldiers are to be released in South Sudan, the United Nations Children's Fund UNICEF said on Tuesday. Child soldiers sit with their rifles at a ceremony held on 10 February 2015 as part of a disarmament campaign overseen by UNICEF and partners in Pibo. The agency noted the released children will be reunified with their families and will be given months worth of food assistance and psychosocial support along with the opportunity to go to school. Since a civil war broke out in South Sudan, over 19,000 children may have been recruited by all sides of the nation's conflict. That was the headlining news around the East African region.